How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Lots of cool things happening in the Forza world lately. We've got a huge new leaked feature, leaked audio files which I'm going to show you, a Doritos collaboration, just so much to talk about so let's just jump straight into it. After I remind you to subscribe and like the video if you like it. Anyway, let's get into it. So a new massive leaked feature has come out that's potentially going to be added to Forza Horizon 5. Now you may have heard of GT Planet, that is a website I use quite a lot because the forum on there for Forza Horizon 5 are brilliant. There's quite a lot of smart people on there, let's say. Well, on GT Planet, a user called TGR55 posted this. He said something interesting found after searching. This time it came from the sound files of the game, not so much the pictures. Remember during the last season, which was Rami's racing history, can you remember when Ramiro himself introduced the Vettel playlist with a voiceover? Welcome to Ramiro's racing history. Do you remember that voiceover? Well, the audio files have been found for one of the upcoming series that we haven't been told about yet. And they say it sounds pretty cool. I've got five quick audio files for you to listen to here, which are all to do with the festival playlist. And then we'll listen to the other audio files that we have. Oh, what's this? The Illuminati series! Introducing duos where you race with a friend. We've got a new progression system, and Aleja has changed the cars. Go check them out in the Eliminator Garage. The Eliminati series is well underway. And I've heard the Eliminati have been seen setting up mysterious triangular collectibles around Mexico. Welcome back to the Eliminati series. It's dry season, so the ideal time to sharpen up your cross-country driving skills. It's the final week of the Illuminati series, and we'll be celebrating those high-tier cars that I never seem to find. It's time for speed, cross-country performance, and downforce. So from them, it sounds like the theme, this, this theme is going to be called Illuminati, and the big feature, the highlight feature, is going to be Eliminator Duos. So basically, the Eliminator Battle Royale game mode with your mates as duos, as teams. It sounds pretty cool. There's a lot of questions we have about how this is going to work, but I believe all of them may be answered with the other audio files that we have. Now, straight away, this seems pretty legitimate because the whole Illuminati theme and the name Illuminati ties up quite massively with another leak we've had a few months ago. This image was leaked. You've seen me mention it a couple of times on the channel, but this is some strange triangle coming soon festival playlist image page. Now, now we know there's a potential update that's gonna be called the Illuminati. It ties up quite well with this mysterious green triangle that we found, the Illuminati, you get the idea. So it's gonna be Illuminati themed. We're getting a duos battle royale mode. Let's have a listen to the other audios files that we have one by one to see if we can narrow things down as to how things will work. Your teammate is repairing you. Your teammate is repairing you. That's one of the audio files. It seems like you're going to be able to repair each other within this Battle Royale duo mode. Your teammate has been eliminated. They are spectating you now. Seems like you can spectate your teammate when they die. It tells you when they die. Obviously, that's what the audio file was. And they can spectate you. On to the next one. Choose your drop zone. You can see where your teammate is going to drop. It seems like when you're picking where you drop, you'll also have a preview of where your teammate is previewing to drop as well, so you can drop in the same area. Welcome to the Illuminati! You now have access to all the rewards you unlocked at lower levels. Go check them out! Or queue again. Seems like we may be able to get rewards in the Illuminati duo eliminator method, uh, method game mode as well. That was an Illuminati board. You'll only find them while playing the Eliminator. Smash them to get more XP and level up. Smash them. So it seems like the Eliminati, the name of that, comes from rare smashables, which will be within the Eliminator game mode. So it seems like while you're playing the Eliminator game mode, you may get random smashables pop up around the map that you have to find with your teammate and you smash them. And that is an Eliminati reward. We don't know what these rewards are going to be or how they're going to work, but they are going to be smashable. Those are the words they used. Your teammate has been eliminated. You can repair them if you go to them quickly enough. A bit contradictory to what we heard a few minutes ago, but it did. this one said that you can actually repair your teammate. So it seems like within the Eliminator, once your teammate dies or gets knocked out, you can go and repair him. But if you don't get there quick enough, he dies and spectates you. Your teammate has pinged a car drop. Go get it. 
It must work similar to the previous Eliminator solos. You find card drops around the map, or now with your teammate, you can pin them and, you know, tell them to go get it, I guess. You can hit a button to share the location of this car with your teammate. You could just take it yourself, of course, though. Another audio file about pinning the car drops for your teammate. Your teammate is fully repaired. Get back into it. Seems like that's what's said after you go and repair your teammate after he dies. You've been eliminated. If your teammate gets to you, they can repair you. You're spectating your teammate now. Keep your eyes open for challengers and car drops. Another one that adds up quite nicely towards that audio file. What'd you get? Nice. You know there's a limited edition Eliminator car, right? You haven't seen it yet? Just have to keep playing then, won't you? Now that one I find quite interesting. A limited edition Eliminator car. What could that possibly be? Is it a variant of a Forza edition that's called the Eliminator edition? Is it one of the Illuminati rewards? These are the things that we don't really know yet. We know that we're going to collect these smashables that are potentially going to be triangles, like the image here. Are one of them going to give us the limited edition Eliminator car? We're not exactly sure. Is this only going to be drivable in the Eliminator? Again, lots of questions to be answered. There's one more audio file I want you to listen to, and it's about a potential new leveling system within the Eliminator or about the Eliminator and the Eliminati. This is the new Eliminati leveling system. Level up, unlock new starter cars, outfits, and more. And when you win a game, you unlock the Eliminati rewards too. With this, you can customize liveries in the Eliminator. I think I'll go with a pizza on my car. Victoria con pepperoni! Please don't take my pepperoni car if you beat me. Eliminati leveling system. So we may have to collect these Eliminati collectibles within Eliminator and win Eliminator games to rank up our Eliminati level, which will get us exclusive rewards and presumably the ability, as he said, to design your cars within the Eliminator. So put a livery on them and drive around with a livery on instead change your starting cars and much more. When this is going to be, we're not sure. I'm gonna predict it's probably not the next update in October since we already kind of know about that being the anniversary update. Might be November. I think it would make more sense to be December since December is usually when they bring out the bigger updates. I think the main Eliminator game mode came out in December and we know we are expecting a Donut Media update at some point as well. There's only two more months left this year, November and December, and one of them's got to be Donut Media, and I'm going to guess one of them is going to be the Illuminati, unless the Illuminati game mode and the Illuminati theme is a couple more months away, maybe in January, February. We really have no idea, but we, we know to expect it at some point. What else is there to talk about? As I said, there is the Doritos collaboration, which has finally been announced. As you can see on screen, the Xbox Doritos and Rockstar Energy Drink giveaway, Xbox Game Pass prizes and DLC. We know that Forza Horizon 5 showed on their live stream last month a Doritos outfit called Tankito Doritos. Now they just gave us a bit of a hint at this, they didn't really tell us when or how we could get it. Now we know. Doritos and Rockstar Energy Drink are collaborating with quite a few different Xbox titles, Fallout 76, Fortnite 2005, Halo Infinite, PUBG, The Elder Scrolls Online, and NFL 23. Those are six games which are going to have exclusive DLC content where you can presumably get for purchasing Doritos and Rockstar products. I'm going to have all the information about it on screen. Now it doesn't seem like it's going to be fully available in the UK, but I believe we will be able to get the Doritos outfit for Horizon 5 in the UK. It says here today in the US and select international markets, Xbox joins forces with fan favorite snacks um, to unveil special edition packaging where you can get rewards. It goes a bit into detail of what areas of the world gets what prizes and what games. Forza Horizon 5 is in all three of them. However, we need to make sure if the UK is classed as one of the international ones and it gets a bit confusing with the amount of countries mentioned, but you can see on the screen, it does say in the middle, the special edition Rockstar Energy cans are available in Belgium, Czech Republic, France, Ireland, Poland, Slovakia, and the United Kingdom. As far as I can see, it doesn't say the UK will get the Doritos. So if you're in the UK, which I know most of my viewers are, and to be honest, quite a lot of Forza Horizon 5 players, from what I can see, we are not getting it 
we are not getting the Doritos, but we will be getting the Rockstar Energy product. Now, how does it work with unlocking the thing in game? It says here, when fans purchase specially marked products, so the Rockstar Energy can for us in the UK, they can enter for chances to win instantly thousands of prizes, presumably like Xbox Series S's and stuff like that. And then first time Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members will receive one month of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for free and fans in participating countries only will receive their choice of exclusive downloadable content across some of the most popular titles. And then it says Forza Horizon 5, Fallout and stuff like that. Have a look at the can. If it's the specially marked ones, which look similar to the ones seen on screen here, there might be a code somewhere when you buy it, which you can import on their website and get the Forza Horizon 5 outfit. One last thing I want to show you guys, and it is the banner slash image that Playroom Games post about their weekly streaming schedule. And we can see that Forza Monthly and Horizon Let's Go are obviously this Thursday. And if you look very closely at the first image, that is a Dodge Viper with a Forza Edition or Horizon Edition number plate. Does this support our previous theory that in this Horizon Anniversary Edition, we're going to be getting new Forza and Horizon Edition cars to the game? Maybe the cover cars, the, Hori the, the Dodge Viper is the cover car for Horizon 1. So does that mean we're going to get a Lamborghini Huracan, which is Horizon 2, a Lamborghini Centenario, which is Horizon 3, McLaren Senna, Horizon 4, and the Mercedes-AMG Project 1, Forza Edition, which has actually been leaked to be in the game already. It's all adding up. We'll have to wait and see what happens on Thursday, but it seems like Dodge Viper Forza slash Horizon Edition is at least going to be a thing. I believe, guys, that is everything we have to talk about today. A bit of a cram-packed video full of random stuff. There's lots of things to expect now um, from the future of Horizon 5. We'll have to wait and see what comes next month and the month after that. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone. Subscribe if you aren't already for more content just like this. And I'll see you all later. Bye.